Have you wondered why your relationship do not last? It is because you have no idea how to sustain your relationship. Entering into a relationship is one thing, but the most important thing is sustaining that relationship. And today I'm going to give you various ways that can help you sustain your relationship. Now, before I go into it, make sure you have subscribed to this channel because it is going to blow your mind. Now, the first thing is that know what you want before going in for it. Most people have no idea what they are entering into. They just found a person, the person is attractive and that's it for them. Make sure you know whatever you are getting yourself into. That is a head start and that saves you so much. The second thing is that once you have entered into the relationship, give your 100% commitment. Most people, because of their past experiences, because of what they've heard, they tend to put one leg in the relationship, the other one outside the relationship. That relationship can never work out. If you're in the relationship, you should be in 100%. If you're not in it 100%, you should leave. Not even 90%, not even 99%. 100% in. And that's going to help you sustain that relationship. The third thing is that relationship cannot be sustained without everyday communication. Communication can be testing each other every day, calling each other every day, letting people know that I'm okay every day. And that is what it means to communicate. It doesn't mean that stay on phone every time, but make sure you have an idea of what is happening to the other party. Communicate almost every day and you can sustain your relationship. The fourth thing is that kill or close any other options. Whenever you have other options available, you do not stay committed to one option. But when you understand that all that you have is what you are having right now, you stay committed and give in so much energy into it. Because when you have plan B, you will dedicate some of the energy that is supposed to be given to plan A to plan B. And maybe the energy you gave to plan B was going to help plan A succeed. But because you've diverted some of the energy to plan B, plan A, which you love, is not going to work. The fifth one is very, very important. Be very slow to get angry, but be quick to apologize. Guys, listen to me. This is the hack of the century. Be slow to get angry. Be quick to apologize. That can save your relationship a million times. No need to argue with me. It has worked for so many people and it will help you sustain your relationship. Because you have been able to stay to this far, I will give you this last one. Avoid pushing blames and accept responsibilities. If you are that person who end up blaming people for even your mistakes, people blame their partners for cheating. You were not taking good care of me, that's why I cheated. If you are that person, you can never sustain your relationship. If it was your mistake, owning up. And make sure you make up for your mistakes and your responsibilities. That is going to help you sustain your relationship. It means that you are owning up as a matured person who understand that you can also be at fault, but you are ready to make up for that mistake you did in order to help the relationship grow. I hope this one helps you. Make sure you subscribe and see you in the next video.